Greetings, rock gear enthusiasts and other afflicted people. Today, we're going to talk about this guy. I'm going to upgrade him to the maximum number of presets. See what goes on. All right, let's take a look at what presets we're starting with here. So down the 100s, 300s. Three forties, fifties, three sixties, seventies, and that's it. So the last one is three seventy five. So that's stock. All right, guys, got it over on the workbench here. First thing I got to do is get and move this uh, power power receptacle out of the way to get access to the uh, the sockets below it. So let me get that out of the way, and then we'll proceed a little further. Now with that can out of the way. Take a look, a little better look. Luckily, found this guy. This is the conversion instructions here on gear sluts, and it's got the jumper positions of where you need to be. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a look at where the jumpers are currently on the setup, make sure they match what they would be with the upgrade. All right, here we go, guys. Here's here are the jumpers. So the top one is going to be this to the left, sorry, to the right. So this one's going to be left, left, and left. So let's take a look and see if my unit has the jumpers in the right spot. All right, guys, so let's take a look at this. So the top one right here, you can see the jumper is on the right where it's supposed to be. Next one down, jumper is on the left where it's supposed to be. Next one down, this is the one I'm going to change because you can see the jumper's on the right. I need to change that to the jumper on the left. The very bottom needs to be on the left, and it is on the left. Someone's already made that mod for me. So I'm going to cut that trace. Move the jumper over and we should be good. All right, that was driving me a little bit batty here, trying to get that uh, that cut, the trace cut a bit. So, uh, but scraped a bit of um, each one of the pads away, got my meter out, gonna do a continuity test, make sure my, uh, my damage to that trace is correct and good. So here we go. Both sides of the pad and we're up in the meg, seven meg plus zone. I think uh, I think my damage has been successful. Let's go ahead and solder the other side and get that jumper put in the way it's supposed to be. All right, my solder skills put the jumper in place right there. You can see right here is where I cut the, the trace out. Right next to it, jump those two there. So it looks like we're good based on the diagram. Let's go pull some chips and replace them with the new ones. Okay, so here's here's kind of a potential stumbling block here. Take a look. So you've got ROM 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So 1 is supposed to be the operating system. So that would be this guy down here at the bottom. 2 would be this guy right here. 3, 4, and then we switch back up to here. It's 5. I had to look this up because this is not intuitive. So let's get this done. It's a little tricky to get these in here. Luckily, the pins are pretty good and straight, so you just got to line them up with the sockets. Make sure everything's lined up, and then push them into place, and you're there. Removing them, I don't have the good tools anywhere I used to. In fact, I probably have them at the office, but they gave you this little cool tool here. It's a, it's a little bit of a brute force endeavor, but it does lift them up from the sides and then be able to yank them out in a somewhat decent manner uh, but as you can see bends the snot out of the pins <laughs> so luckily I'm not using these again but word of the wise they do make a better kit a better tool for this but I don't have it with me the ones that came out of the box though really nice pins everything is kind of set up perfectly so I don't have to worry too much all right good got them all in so looking through it, I don't see any bent pins anywhere. You got ROM 1, 2, 3, 4, ROM 5 up at the top. So everybody's in. Got my jumper reset. I'm going to go ahead and put the top back on this guy. Put the power, <laughs> power socket back in and uh, fire this guy up. All right, so we're back at the bench here. 
turn it on, check it out, H3500, you saw that really quick. Let's take a look at our, pro, our uh, presets. Actually, hold on, let's go back. Hit program. All right, we're now at 100. Going up, 10, 15, 18, 20. Ooh, wait a minute. Jumped 20, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200. And 900 all the way into the last one. So last one, 999. Thunder Toms. Hey, awesome. All right, so we took basically the base model H3000. I think this is the broadcast version. So it's an H3000B. Added five new chips. Got max presets. Yeah, that's an awesome thing. A little bit of work. Can't, won't lie. That was, uh, cutting that trace was a little bit difficult, but... Got it maxed out, thanks. Well, there you have it, guys. Took stock H3000 broadcast edition, added five chips, got a trace, a little soldering, got it to max 3500. Probably totally worth it. We'll find out. See you again later.